Hey folks, today I'm going to be showing you how to add payments into your Flutterflow app using Braintree and PayPal. This also lets you enable payments with just a credit card, Apple Pay, and Google Pay, all in your Flutterflow apps. Payments require Firebase Cloud functions, so before getting started, make sure to watch the Getting Started with Firebase in Flutterflow tutorial video and follow all the necessary steps, including enabling billing for your project. Okay, so now let's enable payments. And here we can see all of our payment settings. So as you can see, payments require a cloud function to, to run, which is currently not deployed, as well as sandbox and production credentials. Sandbox is your test credentials that you'll use for testing. Uh, and production credentials are, of course, when you go live and you're actually truly accepting payments. So to get started with Braintree, we'll go to braintreepayments.com. We'll start with the Sandbox account. Um, so just hit sign up and we can create a test account really quickly. And then of course, log in. And now we're in our Sandbox with all of our configurations and keys that we need to paste into Flutterflow. So we'll start with the merchant ID and copy paste that in as well as the public and private keys that are needed on the server uh, for when you actually process payments. And these unfortunately cannot live on your front end because it's very insecure. And this is why we have to deploy a cloud function to actually process your payments. So next we'll look for the tokenization key. You go to settings, the settings button, API, and then you scroll down to the tokenization keys section, and we'll want to generate one. So we'll hit generate new tokenization key, and then copy paste that into Flutterflow as well. And then of course, to actually create a Braintree account, you'll, you'll just have to fill out the required information um, like you would for any other payment processing platform. We also have the Apple Merchant ID options as well as the Google Merchant ID options. And you'll have to create those um, if you want to process Apple Pay or Google Pay, for, for example. Um, and now that we've added all of the required configurations, at least for the Sandbox account, we can actually deploy our cloud functions so that we can actually process payments. And normally this takes a couple of minutes. I've just fast forwarded through the deployment. So now we've deployed our cloud functions. Let's go into Flutterflow and see how we can set up a payment. So we'll create a new page uh, just to test this thing out. And so let's add an action to this button checkout. So we'll add an on tap action, select commerce, and choose a simple payment for now. And of course we need the amount. In this case, it's 179.99. So payment method, you can use a simple credit card payment, PayPal, or the drop-in, which allows you to select multiple different types and present those options to the user. So if we select credit card, for example, we have to have a credit card form widget on the page for that to work. So we can paste that in and now everything would basically work as intended. You know, the user can type in their credit card and expiration and security code. We can also select PayPal as an option or this drop in, um, which allows you to do everything. So for that, we need a transaction name. And then of course, select our payment types, the payment types that we want to let the user use. So again, we have credit card, PayPal, Google Pay, and Apple Pay. And for Google Pay and Apple Pay, of course, as I said, you'll need the merchant IDs um, and set those up. 
So we'll just add all of them for now. And of course you need to specify the currency that you're going to use for this transaction, as well as the country code if you're intending to use Apple Pay. Finally, there are options for the tax rate, which will be included in the amount in the transaction. as well as any shipping costs that you want to associate with this transaction. And with that, we've set up a payment in Flutterflow. So we can take a look at the code real quick. You can pause the video if you want to see how we do this, um, but that's just the code for how we process the transaction. And we can now download the code and check out how it looks in the emulator. So we'll just hit check out. This is the drop-in. So it selects all of our options. Right now it's just PayPal and credit card. Um, we can select credit card here and it'll take us to this screen um, where the user can enter all of their credit card information and hit add card. And we, of course, need to process the payment, and it's successful. So that's really all there is. With that, we've successfully set up payments in Flutterflow. Thanks, and see you next time.